To this window air conditioning unit, Ted White says a sulfur-like smell quickly overwhelmed his home early Friday morning. I came out and then by then I can see like over the tree line here, over my bamboo, I can actually see the flames coming up. His neighbor's home was completely engulfed in flames. There was a couple people that passed by and they were asking if there was any people in the house. I said I didn't know. Officials didn't find anyone inside, but several blocks away found resident Brian Leach. After questioning, they determined he intentionally set the home on fire, but have not publicly released a motive. Today, rubble of the former home is all that remains. Crews shut down power and water to the home. That, however, is a problem for White. Our pump for our well water are connected somehow, and so we ain't got no water right now at our house until we can figure out how to get it fixed. He and his neighbors spent the day trying to figure out how to restore the water to the home. Meanwhile, Leach is behind bars at the Josephine County Jail, charged with arson in the first degree and is being held on $50,000 bail. In Grants Pass, Kyle Laferman, NBC5 News.